In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to draw shapes on a PowerPoint slide using the Auto Shapes palette. Auto Shapes are literally the building blocks of your slide. They're the shapes you draw and use to create the layout of the slide, and the visual elements that you use to explain your message. At the bottom of your PowerPoint screen, you should have two of the most common auto shapes available, the rectangle and the oval. Let's start by drawing some rectangles. So we click on the rectangle button and notice that your cursor has changed to a precision pointer, a cross, that indicates you are ready to draw something. If you just click the mouse button, that will draw a rectangle automatically of the default size but you probably want to draw one that's a specific shape. So click on rectangle again and click and drag to determine the size of your rectangle. When you draw by clicking and dragging like this the point at which you held down the mouse button becomes the anchor point for one corner and the position of the cursor as you move it around becomes the position of the opposite corner. So just release the mouse button once you're happy with the size to draw the new shape. Now when you draw a new shape like this you'll notice it becomes highlighted with these white handles around the outside. You can click on any of these handles and drag it around to resize the shape as you need to. And you can use the green handle at the top to click and rotate the shape around a central axis. With me so far? Well there's more than one way to draw an auto shape. If you hold down shift when you drag yourself a rectangle, this will keep the proportions of the sides the same, so you end up with a perfect square. And if you press control as you start to draw your shape, it will allow you to draw it from the center to the corner, rather than dragging from corner to corner. This allows you to place it in a more precise position. Now sometimes you want to be extra precise in the size of your shape. If you hold down the ALT key as you draw your circle or square or rectangle, this allows you to resize it by the pixel, which is far more accurate. But if you want to be even more precise, just double click on the shape, go to the size tab of the menu that pops up, and you can enter the exact size you need manually. Okay, but if we get bored of drawing rectangles or ovals, head over to the Auto Shapes menu and you can browse through the range of basic shapes you can draw from donuts to smiley faces, uh, block arrows in all kinds of different directions, flowchart elements and stars and banners. And uh, don't worry if you choose the wrong one for your auto shape. If you change your mind, you can simply highlight the shape you want to change, go down to Draw, and change auto shape. Choose a more suitable shape and PowerPoint will replace it keeping the footprint size the same. 